Hi, and welcome to our channel, The Travel Boss. Today's video is about the top 10 things to do in Aya. Aya Napa has changed a bit since the early 2000s, when it was known as the wildest resort in the Mediterranean. There is still a lot going on at night in Aya Napa Square, and people who like to party can do a lot of loud things during the day. But this part of Cyprus is also good for families. Aya Napa has the bluest flag beaches of any stretch of coastline in the world. There is also a modern water park and a permanent fun fair. But before we start our countdown, please subscribe to our channel, The Travel Boss, and also tell us what is your favorite thing to do in Aya Napa in comments. Number 10. Boat Trips There are many kinds of cruises that leave from the harbor in Aya Napa. People who want to party could buy tickets to something that looks like a floating club and has a bar and DJs. The pirate ship is similar, with entertainment on board and lots of stops to swim. If you want a more relaxing day on the water, you can go on a catamaran cruise and relax on a sun longer while looking at Cape Greco. Number 9. Sea Caves These caves are also part of Cape Greco. They were formed by the currents over time, and you can get to them from the water or a path that goes under the headland for a while. It's a great place to take pictures because erosion has shaped the rocks into all kinds of strange shades. This strange but beautiful place has a natural arch and holes that go deep into the honeycomb rock, so you could spend hours exploring it. Number 8. Macronissos Tombs even though rock had been mined at this site since ancient times, no one knew until 1989 that there was a complex of Hellenistic and Roman tombs just outside of Aya Napa. Cyprus is a place where pieces of its early civilizations are always being found, and these tombs are worth seeing. There are 19 rock chambers in total, and each one has a large rectangular entrance that would have been sealed with a large limestone slab. Inside, there are benches and a central trench. Pyres found on higher ground show that ancient Greek ceremonies were held here. Number 7. Sculpture Park Just east of Aya Napa, on a hilltop with a view of the sea, is a new cultural attraction called the Sculpture Park. Twenty artists from all over the world were asked to make sculptures for the park. The park is a good place for a peaceful stroll because it has almost 40 sculptures and a classic Mediterranean seascape. The pieces are made from white marble or limestone that is found on the island. They range from abstract shapes to statues that are based on the island's ancient cultures. Number 6. Cape Greco This rough headland is part of a nature park that is east of Ayanaba. From land, you can walk along paths lined with wild herbs, poppies and long grass as you get closer to Cape Greco. At the top of the cliffs, there are benches where you can sit and look out over the cobalt blue Mediterranean and the rocky land around you. A short distance to the west, you can see the medium wave broadcasting station's four tall radio masts. Number 5. Nissi Beach Nissi Beach is great for both families and people who want to go out and party. There are beach clubs with pools and DJs for people who like to party. On the west side of the beach, near the point that sticks out into the water, there is a cliff jump, and there are a lot of water sports to choose from. Visitors with children can find a sun away from the crowds and enjoy the white sands and aquamarine waters. Number 4. Canis Bay Canis is the best beach in the area to go to if you want to get away from the resort and back to nature. It has a narrow half-circle of powder-white sand and clear, sparkling water. Long rocky spurs on either side of this bay help keep the beach safe from currents and winds. Yachts often dock in the bay, and snorkeling and swimming are great here because the water is shallow. Number 3. Waterworld Water Park This mythology-themed water park is a short walk along the coast from the resort. It has 18 slides, pools, and other attractions. Like a lot of Aya Napa, Waterworld will be fun for families with young children, teens, and young adults. Trojan Adventure is a kind of water-based adventure playground for younger kids. It has slides that end gently in a shallow splash pool. Number 2. Thalassa Museum 
Even though Aia Napa is a party town, it has one of the best museums in Cyprus. The Thalassa Museum opened in 2005 and says it is the only major attraction in the Mediterranean that is all about the sea. Cyprus is a great place for this kind of attraction because it has been home to many seafaring cultures. The museum has displays from the Neolithic age all the way to the classical period, which is about 7,000 years of maritime history. Number 1. Aya Napa Monastery. This is the oldest building in Aya Napa. It was mostly built in the 1400s when the Venetians ruled Cyprus. Even though the monastery is now part of the town, when it was built it was far away and hidden in a pine forest. The Venetians used honey-colored limestone to build the church, flour mill, cloisters, and courtyard fountain. However, the cave and well next to these buildings suggest that they were built by the Byzantines. So these are the top 10 best things to do in Aya Napa. Do you agree with our list and think that visiting Aya Napa Monastery is the best thing to do in Aya Napa? Share your views in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel The Travel Boss. Thanks for watching.